people in the entertainment industry are always trying to one-up each other to see who can push the boundaries the most and create something people are going to talk about, and unfortunately, it's not always in positive ways. Last year, we saw Anne Boleyn be race swapped, which was absurd, and now we're seeing Joan of Arc turned non-binary, and the internet is furious with this decision. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this Bounding Into Comics article. It says the continuing march of modern day critical gender theory has claimed yet another victim, this time as a new play from Shakespeare's London Globe Theatre is set to portray historical French icon Saint Joan of Arc as a non-binary individual who finds her strength by questioning the gender binary. It says, written by British playwright and actor Charlie Josephine, whose bio notes that they are particularly passionate about stories that center working class women and queer people, and helmed by the co-writer of Henry V. Fifth Globe Theater, I, Joan, is described by its creators as a powerful and joyous new play which tells Joan of Arc's story anew. A uh, historically inaccurate story, may I add. It says the men are all fighting again begins the official synopsis of the play. An endless war from nowhere an unexpected leader emerges. Young, poor, and about to spark a revolution, this is Joan. And then you see what they're going to be doing with this. Rebelling against the world's expectations, questioning the gender binary, Joan finds their power and their belief spreads like fire. Now, usually when we see gender identity changes or race swaps, we're talking about fictional characters, so of course the argument is, well, they're not real, so it's okay. I personally don't agree with that because it is still a character someone created a background for, and by changing their race or gender, you're changing someone else's creation. But in this case, we're talking about a real human being. This reminds me so much of the Anne Boleyn situation where they race swapped her. This is way too far, and this is the type of project that everyone should be calling out. By doing this, you're disrespecting a real person and their legacy. I saw this on social media and I just could not believe that this was real because in 2022 there are a lot of people who want to identify as they slash them and that's their choice. They're allowed to ask people to uh, respect their pronouns, right? But this is a historical figure who you cannot ask permission to talk about their gender with, okay? So you should not be going back and changing around somebody's pronouns, and you should not be race-swapping characters either, because that is just disrespecting a real human that existed. I remember when the Anne Boleyn situation happened, and this monstrosity came out. It has a 50% critic score and an 8% audience score, and of course, if you go to the audience score, everybody trashed this movie for disrespecting a real human being. You only need to glance at this movie to see how they don't give a crap about history. Uh, this is a historical drama. It isn't historically correct at all, um, because they tried to play it off as, you know, this is telling the real side of her story, even though the character description isn't accurate at all. Going back to the Joan of Arc article, though, it says, With open hearts and raised voices, dance and cheer with us as we rediscover Joan's story. Concluding the synopsis, it's alive, queer, and full of hope. 
Now, this is the official Twitter post that Shakespeare's Globe put up saying, Our new play, I, Joan, shows Joan as a legendary leader who uses the pronouns they slash them. We are not the first to present Joan in this way, and we will not be the last. We cannot wait to share this production with everyone and discover this cultural icon. A major problem with situations like this is it's not, well, there's just gender-neutral term use in this, but she's still a woman. The play becomes all about the fact that they changed her figure. It becomes the sole focus instead of the focus being on the story and the experience that you should be getting out of this. And of course, a lot of people on social media are absolutely disgusted by this. And I am, as well as a woman, I feel insulted to see people now going back and fucking around with historical women that are very important. I am sick of history being vandalized in order for these companies to simply push modernization of stories and individuals. Going down to the comment section, we are only going to read a couple of the posts here. People are saying things like, Joan was a woman. Her name was Jean, and she was a woman in armor, not a non-binary or trans icon. Stop stealing everything from women sexist. This is what people should be saying. There are individuals who go on social media who complain about sexism in the world, yet they think a situation like this is okay? Are you really saying that because Joan defied conventions and led an army, she couldn't be a real woman? How regressive and sexist of you terrible. She is a strong character, but women can be leaders too. You know this. This is female erasure. I 100% agree with this. As a woman, I feel insulted and disgusted by this situation. I'm sorry, but Joan of Arc was a real person and she was a woman. This feels like you're trying to erase a strong woman from history. These people try to be so progressive and with the times that it's like they don't even realize that they are erasing the legacies of real, very important women. It's like a, such a clown world move here. There is absolutely no way I would ever support something like this, even though this is a UK play and I do not plan to go all the way to the UK to experience it. If that was happening here, I would not be supporting it either. This is disgusting that someone would take such a figure and decide to go, we're going to slap them with they, them pronouns to see these characters and these individuals in a new light. Absolutely terrible situation. I am very disappointed with this group for going and taking such an amazing figure and twisting them around for their own narratives. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.